Well, I came out here trying to catch bluegill, um, and I'm still trying to catch bluegill, but we were supposed to have like calm wind, stuff like that. The wind is horrible and it's playing havoc with the light line that I have and all of that. So, kind of ridiculous, but we're going to give her a go, see what happens. No, right there. Didn't get quite far enough out. But I'm running a size 4 hook on like 4 pound test. And I do believe, yeah, something just hit that. Let me uh, tidy up the worm and toss that back out. Do that again, big boy. Gotcha. A little too small for my purposes today. At least for now. Um, if I can do what I want to do, maybe later on, I might be able to use a little booger like that and maybe do some catfishing but it depends on how tired I am after messing around out here trying to catch bluegill. The problem I'm running into is that We've been snagging like crazy in here. Not in this particular section, but in all the areas that I've been to around this lake so far. And I've lost all but one of my sinkers. And I, I wanted to put a little split shot on it to get a little bit further out because generally the larger bluegill, which is what I'm trying to catch, is further out. I'm gonna use that last split shot and see what happens. This area is fairly clear, hopefully, I can hang on to it. Yeah, that's where I want. What I'm doing is I, I'm fishing with a worm, but I'm not just letting it out there and sit, letting it sit. I've, if it doesn't get a reaction in a, a decent amount of time, what I'll do with it is jiggle it a bit. Ah, oh, nice. Little booger, though. Little bitty thing.
If we catch all, if all of we catch are these, it's all right, but I had a purpose. I still have a purpose that I'm seeking here. Hopefully, I can do what I'm trying to do, but we're going to do what we can because a lot of times that's all you can do. Yeah, little bitty dinks all day long. He's a little bigger, but not big enough. Dinks. Dinks after dink, dink after dink after dink. The setup that I'm using today is a light action rod, but this rod is anything but a light action rod. This rod will bend almost double. Okay, so the manufacturer may call this a light action rod, but in my opinion, it is an ultra light rod. I'm using a 500 series reel with four pound test. Um, and I'm fishing with red worms. They're small. I probably, because of the fish that I'm trying to catch, the larger bluegill, I probably should have, let me straighten my line out a bit, came with night crawlers, which would have been a, a larger presentation. But honestly, I had the, the uh, red worms left over from a previous trip, and I couldn't see any reason to buy a container of night crawlers when I already had several of these left. So, and I'm using a, a small split shot about a foot up the line, but um, it's the only one I have, so that might change. And I'm out a little bit further away now from the shore than what I was. Sometimes the bigger bluegill will stage out away from the shore a little bit more than the smaller ones. And I'm getting little dinks right now. But what I'm doing is I'm just... I've just got it out there and I don't want to really reel it on in so I'm just jiggling it a bit trying to get attention paid to it and it will eventually come on in but I'm just fishing slow. And I don't really want to keep it too close to shore because that's where the little dinky ones are. But we might not today have anything but little dinky ones. So it might not make a dime's worth of difference. The 
the day. We'll see. And I'm finding that Richard Jeans hold the fishing machine is easier on my hand. I'm having issues now when I put my hand on a reel like that, no matter where I'm at, it starts to hurt there. So I might cast like that, but I'm immediately going to turn it out in front. because it feels better on my old hands. Oh yeah, and immediately, but it's not a big one. Oh, he's trying to hang me up in that tree. Uh-huh. But you ain't, but it is bigger than what I've been catching. But that ain't, that ain't the size. You are not the droid I'm looking for. They are hanging me up in that tree big time. And he's still not the size I want. You folks have probably surmised what it is that I'm trying to do and trying to catch. But uh, we will see. Oh yeah, little bitty booger though. They're all little, but on, on this rod, that's the thing with ultralight. People go, why do you want to go after those small fish? Well, if you put ultra, that fish on ultralight is fun as all get out. Um, there's one of the things that you see Today, if people are doing something, and I don't think some of them even realize that they're doing it, called power fishing. And it's something that tournament anglers in the 80s and 90s came up with a term, which means they're basically using heavy line, heavier rods, heavier gear, um, and they're horsing the fish out of cover, or they're jerking them out of the water real quick and onto the boat because for a tournament fisherman it's not about the fun of the catch although like i said before i think that's probably pretty fun okay but they're trying to catch as many fish as they can so they can catch the biggest fish they can and call the rest so they're not interested in the fight they're just not and a lot of people are copying them and have been for decades now. And you're missing out 
on the joy of fishing. You might think you're having fun, but you put you limit the, the weight pound test of your line, the the uh, power of your rod, the size of your uh, reel, and stuff like that, and catch fish like that, and tell me it ain't more fun. To have to fight him and have to play with him a little bit before you bring him in because you might lose him otherwise. Just my opinion, and I'd rather do that than any of that other stuff. Oh yeah, that's a little better. No, they're just, they're wrapping me around limbs and stuff and making me think they're bigger than they are because there's a lot of overhanging stuff. And I guess that a lot of it's also in the water. Tiny little deep. Yeah, do that, big boy. Okay. Change of plan. Stand by. All right. This has stopped being a panfish video. Now, we're going to see if we can catch some cats. Or at least a cat. We're going to set this out there in the channel, in the water. I'm going to tighten that up so that I'll see if something bites on it. And we're going to mess around with a little panfish while I watch that rod and see if I can. Catch me a catfish. Can't catch the little panties. Let's see if we can catch a big cat. It's probably just a tad early for them. I don't know. But we're going to see. If I can't catch one, maybe I can catch another. Or the other, however you want to call it. Whatever you want to. Whatever you want to call it. Now watch me catch a bunch of big bluegill now that I don't have time. To do jack squat with them. That's all right. We're coming back for that too. We're not done by a long shot.
Little panty. Little panty. Still fun. I like these kick heads. Fish anchor might be on to something. You think? I like them. They don't get... They don't swallow them super deep. I might switch tactics. And if I do, I'll have to message him or email him or something and tell him, thank you for the idea. Very nice. I did it out of necessity. I got a feeling that's probably what he did one day. He he ended up like me and all his split shot. He lost all his split shot snagging up or something. And all he had was a jig head. Oh yeah. Love it. Caught another little tiny panfish. I'll catch these all day long. I'm sitting here waiting on a catfish to hit that without any issues whatsoever. No problem. Lots of fun to be had by all. I'm going to have to email Richard Jean as well. I mean, I doubt it matters to him. He's probably had a, a, a dozen people email him about it. But that hole that he, this hole right here, this is the bomb. I think it might make the rod more sensitive too because I'm actually holding it by the blank. This rod doesn't have a problem with sensitivity anyway. What's my line looking like? It's still taut. Okay. I gotta watch. I'm used to fishing in a river. I don't fish the lakes a lot, although I'm fishing this lake quite often now. And um, in the river you have a current, and the current will help to keep slack out of your line, or it will put slack in your line, depending on 
the circumstance, the kind of weight you got, the kind of lure you're using, or bait you're using, or all kind of stuff like that. In here, this has got a little bit of, it looks like there's a little bit of current, but uh, not much. I still want to watch it though, because I don't want it to drift too close to shore. I want to keep it out there where I know the cats are or where I know they will be here shortly. And at least in less than an hour probably they will start moving out in there. I know that they were eating bluegill the last few times I was out here. Because I could watch them hammer them on top of the water. Oh, nice. Nice fish. See, here we go. See that? Well, yeah, he's not quite what I wanted, but he's much more respectable. And that's a red here. Beautiful. Hold still so I can show the folk. Beautiful. Beautiful little red ear sunfish. Still not quite enough quite big enough for what I'm after, but that's okay. I don't have the time to worry about it now anyway. Gonna smell like, my rod's gonna smell like panfish stank. I have to make sure. One of the things you should do when you, uh, after you fish, you should wash and clean off your gear and that's nothing more than taking a, a damp towel damp with some warm water in the from the tap and wiping everything really good and clean your eyes the eyes of your rod everything so that uh, that you don't have buildup of Things like that mossy kind of stuff that uh, that we're pulling off of the lures and the hooks, stuff like that. So you don't have that buildup that might impede your castability and things like that. Well, take the thing, quit being such a baby about it, and hit the son of a gun. If you want it, take it. Yeah, like that. Do that. That's what I was waiting on, fat boy. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little bit of dink. I've got enough catfish bait. I've got the head and the tail section of that one that I cut up over there on the ground. And if it gets a little stinky, it won't flip and hurt anything. Catfish don't care. They might even like it a little more. I don't know. But uh,
Nice. <laughs> lovely, lovely. To sit here, or stand here rather, throw out into the water and catch the little bluegill and uh, red ear and whatnot and watch a line for catfish. At the same time, that'll work. I like that a lot. You know you want. I got something just lightly playing with that and cats will do that. Sometimes I do believe I do. They like to, sometimes they'll it's a channel so they don't do it as much in my experiences. It's like a blue cat would. But they do, but they're like, sometimes they'll take it and, and put it in their mouth and kind of suck on it a while. They're not really. And I think a lot of times with channel cats, um, the channel cats don't have as big of a mouth. So they all they don't always it, it takes them a while sometimes to actually hit that. I got a little booger pecking at this. This is what I'm talking about in an earlier video. Some of those small ones, they can worry the living snot out of a worm and just eat all around that hook because the hook is too big for them. This hook should not be. It's a size four and it should not be too big. You bit too often, big boy. Okay. My prison. I think. Hold still. You thought you were a whole lot bigger than he thought he was a whole lot bigger than he actually was. That's one of the things I like about him. They are aggressive. They think 
that they are something else. And it's a that's a genuine personality trait. Well, I'm running out of battery on the other, on both of my cameras, or I'm sorry, I'm running out of storage space. Um, so we might not get a cat before I run out of room to record it. If that happens, it happens. Not much I can do about it. But it's been a fantastic day out on the water. It does not matter whether or not I accomplished either one of my goals because it looks like plan A and plan B might not materialize. I don't know. That one there hit it without hesitation. Be still. I believe that's an immature shell cracker. But I could be wrong. But it's aggressive enough to be one, that's for sure. I had him, but he got off. And Storage is full on that camera. So, if we catch one, we'll be on this one. I sure wish we would. I surely, surely wish we would. Whoa. And I'm going to reposition that bait, that catfish bait. Hopefully I won't swing it off. I've got more if I do. But, yeah, see, something's been chewing the living snot of that. I've got a mind to think that's turtle.
So let's put the rest of that tail section on there. It's probably too big, but I've not got a lot of time and I'm not fooling with I'm cutting it. I'm just going to set that right boom in there. And see what we see. I'll do that again. Just killing the little bitty ones today. Killing the little bitty ones today. Killing the dinks today. And I think that might be. And I'm going to call this video. I mean, I could conceivably catch a big old carrot off with that tiny little bit of worm. I mean, I seriously doubt it. That wouldn't even be a snack or a treat for something like that. Another little dinky. Little dink dink. That's all we're getting. I think I'm going to throw a crick hopper on this here in a minute. If the dink stops biting. But I'm having fun catching them. Regardless, I'm having fun catching them. You're not okay. Well, that settles that. He swallowed it, so we're gonna have to cut him off. Yeah, see the big old cat right there just hitting something on top of the water. I'm pretty sure that's the bluegill. I could see that was definitely a cat. I know you didn't probably didn't see that. You might have. But it might have been on camera, but Yeah. See this is what mm-hmm. This is what we were looking for earlier. He's almost big enough to fry up, which is what I wanted. I guess the secret is out. I think it probably already was. It's all right, buddy. I'm just trying to get this out of you so you can go back into the water where you came from. 
and be safe. Yeah, and that didn't hurt him a bit. Good deal. Well, we didn't achieve either objective. My first objective was to catch some big fat panfish and do a fish fry. It didn't work. I just saw, heard something jump. But it didn't work. All I got was the little dinks. But I had a great day catching little dinks. I don't even know how many I caught. A bunch of them. Okay. And on this rod, with this reel, four pound test, great time. Um, our second objective was to catch small bluegill or a small panfish, cut it up and use it for catfish bait and catch catfish here. And we achieved part of that, but we did not catch catfish um, for whatever reason. I think what I will do next time is bring chicken liver and see if they will eat that. I noticed there's chicken liver bucket right here a pretty good size when it's empty I don't know if that means they caught a bunch of fish or they dumped it out in the water before they left because they didn't want to carry it or it smelled bad I don't know but these catfish in this lake have not seen the last of me I will come back here and I will fish and I will fish and I will fish until I catch some more. I caught one already. Uh, you may or may not see that video before you see this one. But I caught a really nice channel cat already out of here on worms. But all I got was one hit and that was him or her. So. Anyway, thanks for coming along, and bless you, and I'll talk to you later. One more. One more cat. Why? Because I cannot help it. Oh, the disease, fella. <laughs>